Hello, Gemini, with a general reading for um, the tribe of the Gemini people. Um, this will re resonate with anyone who has Gemini strongly in their chart. But again, we are all different ages. We all live in different areas of the world. We're all moving through different types of experiences. So not every reading will fit with everyone. Um, but hopefully there's something here um, that will help you in your journey forward, Gemini. Also, I am looking at the current time frame and the next immediate energy um, I'd like to say it was seven to 10 days or a couple of weeks, but it could even be three weeks. It could even be up to every different indiv individual viewer to determine what is the time frame that we're looking at here. Um, it is beyond my capacity um, to bring forward a message and to determine what the time frame is. That is between you and your spiritual team. So, um, but I am looking at the next immediate incoming energy. I hope that helps in some way. All right, for this group of Gemini people, my dear friends, I welcome you into this space. I'm happy that you're here. I welcome you just as you are in this moment. I'm happy and I'm grateful that you're here. Let's go ahead and look at the situation here that this group of Gemini people um, is currently experiencing. What is this group of Gemini people currently experiencing, please? What is this group of Gemini people currently experiencing? What is this group of Gemini people currently experiencing? This group of Gemini people currently experiencing. Yeah. Let me clarify the tower. Let me clarify the tower. Sorry, I'm just working my way through this. You're going to be tongue-tied. This group of you are a little bit tongue-tied here. I, I'm just going to, I'm going to go deeper. I'm going to go deeper into this because this, whenever we have the tower, we have the three of cups sideways. Ah, oh, man. Why is the eight of pentacles here? All right, Gemini. Okay, I've confirmed it over and over again. This is this is for a group of you that are that is experiencing something. <clears throat> this is for a group of you that are experiencing something new, something very real, something very exciting. And I'm going to just dig in now. It's almost scary for me to dig into this energy. The Ace of Pentacles is here. So you're starting off in this energy with Ace of Pentacles. This is talking about a new reality, a new improved reality, a new improved life that you're living. You're working hard at um, cementing it in. You're working hard at stabilizing it. You're working hard at settling into it. You're staying focused on what this new, um, and you could have a new job. You could have a new relationship. Um, you could have a new activity that you're doing, but it does, the Ace of Pentacles is an improved, an improved reality or a new reality. The Ace of Pentacles is something you can hold, you can touch, you can feel, you can live within. Okay, it's not an idea. It's not new action. 
You know, it's not, it's not inner love. It's something that you are experiencing. I always feel like it's the last ace. It's like the, it's like, first you have the ace of swords where you have clarity, right? And then you have the ace of whatever, you know, however you want to go, however you want to go down the, the rabbit hole. But this is ace of pentacles. This is a brand new reality that you are in. So this is a group of Gemini people that are in some type of a new life, a new improved life, a new relationship, a new job, a new baby, whatever. There's, there could be new money here. There could be a new person here. There can be a new child, a new something, something new is here. And it's something that you can, again, it's something that you can touch. You can experience, you can live within. It's something that you've worked hard for. You've had to stay focused on it. You've, you haven't been able to really let up. You've been working hard. You've been staying focused. You've been staying intentional. And this has brought you a lot of bliss. You have been, you have seen the reward from your hard work. Ten of Cups, happiness, emotional fulfillment. Ten of Cups, right here. Whatever that picture resonates with you, you've had, you have stayed in your lane and you have reached some sort of major destination for yourself. And, and it's a beautiful destination. And I feel like this destination has a view. It has a view of your future. It has a view of the horizon. It has a view, the world. You can look over the world in some way. So this is a major, something major. This is a major milestone here that you're experiencing. The thing is, is we have the, the three of cups lateral next to the tower. So I feel like this is between two people. We have the emperor and the empress here. This is a love story between two people that is moving forward into the next phase. Okay. I'm, I'm serious. And I don't always with these general readings are not always about love, but I think, um, this is either about, okay, this is, this is a relationship with, between two people or two communities, or two families, okay, two energies, an empress energy and an emperor energy. And when I picked, so how I pick these readings is I have a stack of 12 cards. That's how I pick these readings. And, and when the Gemini card flew out, I, the cards fly out just like when I shuffle the card will fly out that I'm going to do the reading on. And when this card flew out, I felt a sense of frustration when it flew out. And so there is some sort of weird energy here. There's a weird energy here. It's, it's a very intense energy. It's an intense energy. It's between two people. There's something either that you're working towards be, between two people of the same intensity or of the same hierarchy or of the same soul connection, the same level, they're the same. They have the same strengths. They are a perfect match. Again, husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, counterparts, soulmates, business partners, co-workers who are on a very small team and they work together, whatever this is, but we have creation, we have nurture, we have love, we have Gaia energy, and we have discipline, we have procedures, we have specialty, we have structure, you know, these two energies here with the Empress and the Emperor. So this Gemini, this is about two people that are working together to make something happen, to make something come together. We have the union energy or the reunion energy sideways. You're working to make something come together. Okay, and I feel like there's a looming, something looming here. It's, this is moving forward in a love energy. So there's something here that inspires you. There's something here that brings you a very full and soft and loving heart. It could be a romantic pair. Probably This is probably a love story, but it doesn't have to be. It could also be a business story because we have the Wheel of Fortune here. But it's something that inspires you. It's something that fills your heart with love. And it's some kind you're moving forward in a love energy. It is an energy of love. It's not the energy of clarity, right? It's an energy of love. It's love. It is soft. It is warm. It is loving. 
It is love energy. Okay. There's something here that you're bringing into fruition. Either a re relationship is building and will come to some culmination or is coming into some culmination or that there is a project that you're working on or maybe you're working to buy a house or to build a home. Um, something here that you're working on. You're in the process of getting this to a certain point. Okay, it's all, it's almost like you've already attained the new reality. Because the Ace of Pentacles was the first energy. So it's almost like you, you already have attained it or you already have got it in your clutches, in your grasp. And now you're making something to come into, into reality here. So some next step, you're moving on to the next step. You're entering a new space. You could have gotten a new job. You could have started a new company. You could have started a new relationship and now you're in the, you're in the process of bringing something more to fruition. And it's very much around love energy, wheel of fortune. There is something happening now currently for this group of people. That's a big surprise. It's a big surprise. It's, it's, it could be, I mean, it could be an engagement. It could be deciding to move. It could be deciding to get married with a higher font. But something is moving forward. Something is moving forward. This group of people are currently in the Wheel of Fortune right now. Something big is happening with this group of people. Hierophant. This is something about society, the structure around society, contracts, agreements, religion, the family structure, the company structure, a whole group of people moving in the same direction with a small group of leadership, having the same mindset, thinking the same thing. But I think this Hierophant is about some new beginning something has happened. Somebody is getting engaged or somebody is getting married. Something's happening here. Somebody is having a child. It's big. It's a tower. It's big. Something is beginning and something else has to be coming to an end because we have the world next to the tower. And it has to do with the structure of society, family structure, making it formal, fitting it into the community in some way. Look, there's two sheep here, two people. There's two people or two communities. Wow, I didn't expect this. There is this very intense, there's the sun. Damn, you guys. There's a very, in, there's a strong intensity in the air. And there is some kind of frustration or energy or charge. Maybe it's an electrical charge that I feel. Here we have the King of Cups here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Doesn't have to be one of those signs, but this person is, I feel like it's a person. I feel like this person, whether it's a community or an actual person or a group of people, the energy will surround the situation. So... Um, if this, I'm just going to read it like it's a person. You can take it and put it towards a community or towards whatever. I'm going to, for many of you, this is a person. So I'm going to go with a person. This is a person who's generous, who's kind, who's giving, who is some sort of healer. So this person helps to bring healing and nurturing and vitality and love and generosity into the home, into the relationship. Um, into the community. This could be a doctor. This could be a nurse. Um, this could be um, a healer of some kind, but, but whatever they are and whatever they do for their job doesn't really matter. They have a personality of bringing warmth and generosity and love and nurturing into the environment around them. All right. They're, they're all, sometimes they're, they don't, they don't communicate as effectively as they do do things. They're better at doing things, taking action, bringing in help, providing help, providing love, providing nurturing. 
All right, we have something that, is, because when I went to clarify the King of Cups, we have the Judgment energy with the Seven of Swords. So there's some sort of situation here, which I haven't really yet put my finger on. There has, is some sort of situation here that I think has been overcome because there is a tinge of some kind of intensity or some kind of spark connected to this King of Cups. And then when I went to clarify further the sun. So I feel like there has been some situation that has been overcome here. This situation, this Ace of Pentacles here, where you have the Ten of Cups over the top, pure bliss and happiness with this emperor and this empress, um, was in, came to some sort of an actuality or a realization or some sort of, of th third dimensional accomplishment. And then has moved into a second phase or is moving into a second phase. But in the journey from the first phase to the second phase, there was like a little bit of a blip or a challenge or something here that there was a requirement of some sort of a change of course. Either you had to change jobs or you had to move or there was a surprise here. But there's new momentum now. There is an offer of love coming in or some kind of um, acceptance of love or an offering of love coming in that the, the wheel of fortune is, is finally turning now. So there has been some underlying energy here of slight difficulty. Um, and I, it could even be because it was so fast and so abrupt because the towers here, and then we had the seven of swords with the judgment energy. And I feel like, there is just some sort of revision that has happened here connected with this King of Cups. There could even be a Taurus here. There could be a Leo here. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aries energy, Libra energy. There, there's just a lot of different possibilities here. Doesn't have to be any of those signs either. It can be a completely different sign. Um, but there is something here connected to this King of Cups, male or female. Remember the King of Cups is a masculine energy. This person would be very active out in the community, um, doing things in the community, very much a part of whatever this is, very much a part of the environment. Um, the, the Queen of Cups would be more softer, would be focused more on internal, um, on internal love, the love of oneself, the love of others very soft energy. The King of Cups is a more gregarious, outgoing energy, um, generous energy, um, welcoming, kind energy, but much more out and, and in action where this person can be seen and, and is, is having experiences very much active. Okay. With this person, there has been something here that has had a change around. Something has had a change around. There could have been a, a, some kind of decision this person had to make, a change of mind. Maybe this person had a change of mind. Maybe you thought this relationship was, um, I just don't know. There was some kind, I, I'm not going to stay in this energy too long because if you're resonating with this, um, you're going to know what this tower is. It could just be how fast it happened or how fast you're moving to phase two. Because we have this Knight of Cups along with the Wheel of Fortune over the top of the tower, over the top of the world energy. It's like it's a whirlwind happening so quickly. Something very quickly happened here. Something changed very quickly with this King of Cups. Either this King of Cups came roaring in, came zooming in, and completely changed things up on you, and you had to change things in your life or something major. Somebody could have come back. There has just been... Um, you have reached a certain phase, you reach phase one, and then all of a sudden you were very quickly in phase two. And moving from phase one to phase two required some type of adjustment. Okay, so that's what I'm getting. And I, this was so exciting, I didn't even pull the rest of the cards. <laughs> because I got so caught up in this. So let's see what's coming next. I'm going to pull in now um, all these extra cards that I pulled. 
I don't even remember which cards I pulled, to be honest with you. It was, I got so caught up in this. I don't even remember what they were. I, I just got, this is what I do, you guys. I get so caught up in it. So I'm going to continue. I'm going to leave these cards down and I'm going to continue. Please help us understand what is coming up. What it, What is this group of Gemini people stepping into in the future, in the next couple of weeks, the next 10 days, the next two weeks, the next three weeks? Please help us understand what will Gemini, this group of Gemini people be stepping into? What will they be stepping into? What will they be stepping into in the next... Well, you know, these are very short timed readings, so uh, not a whole lot can happen in three weeks period of time when you think about it. I mean, I know that in this, there was a whole lot that happened here for you, but we're looking at the next couple of weeks. So let's, I'm not, I'm going to try not to get too excited now. And let's ask for guidance too. Guidance, please. Please give us some guidance. Please give us some guidance. Please give us some guidance for Gemini. you guys I messed up my routine so if you if you like to time stamp I kind of messed it up this time because I just got pulled into it all right let's look to see what's coming up here let's look to see what's coming up here for you we have the strength energy we have the Ten of Swords, Four of Wands, Nine of Wands, Death Energy, High Priestess, Nine of Swords, Ten of Wands. So yeah, when things move quickly like that, there always is a period of time where you kind of have to catch up, where you kind of have to slow down and the energy has to catch up. The whirlwind needs to settle all the dust from all the commotion and all the haphazardness needs to settle and kind of get back to earth again. Um, because I can see there's been a major transformation in your life and this has taken a lot of, it's taken a lot out of you. I know that it's been exciting and I know that um, there's something beautiful and new here and some improvements here in your reality, but um, this has taken quite a toll on you energetically. Um, you have been spending some time um, going through the process of, of really adjusting um, and managing that lion that roars within. So you could be uh, managing the lion when you're afraid, when you're going through changes, when you're coming up against something new that's happening and you don't really know what the future is going to bring and that um, fear that comes along with that, really moderating that energy that you can kind of get caught up in and can, can sort of put a damper on uh, moving into a new, um, a new situation because ultimately here we have a major transformation that's taking place in your life. We have the death energy over the 10 of swords. So there is confirmation here. And we also have the 10 of wands. So we have confirmation now that you are at the very end of some kind of old pattern. Um, you have learned very deep within um, a, some true enlightenment and true wisdom um, and, and a very close connection with divine energy, with the source energy that brings you guidance. Whatever it is that you believe, whatever religion that you follow, wherever you find yourself, 
um, in this transformation that you've been through, it has been deep. It has been dark and dank. It has been rank. I mean, all of these words that come in that are like deep darkness, you have experienced that um, in your past and you're coming to an end here with these two tens. You also are having the death energy. So there is um, some real sadness and real recovery time uh, that maybe you didn't really get any recovery time. There's something here where you have the tens over the, and then you have the nine of swords. So I feel like in a way, in a sense, you might need some recovery time. Um, you might need some recovery time as you're moving forward because there is a situation here that you're in with the four of wands. There's a, there's a new beginning here with the four of wands a new business structure, a new family structure, a new relationship, something here with the four of wands that's creating some kind of a foundation, something that has shelter that you can shelter yourself within, something that will bring a lot of security to you as you continue to move forward in your, in your journey. And you know what it is. You know what this is. You know why it's here. You know within yourself that this is a new beginning and this is part of the journey, but it doesn't really help you as you cope emotionally, right? You can have the connection to the divine. You can have the inner wisdom, right? You can have all of that. You can have all these lessons in these toolboxes and all of the expertise here with the nine of wands. You can have that. I don't see you backing down. I don't see you running away. Um, but I do see you here kind of reeling in the next couple of weeks, kind of reeling, um, taking some time now um, to adjust to whatever this is, being sort of defensive now as you move into the future, having some worries about all this. I think it might have moved quite quickly. It might have moved quite quickly, and I do see in the next couple of weeks or the next month or so um, a slowing down, a slowing down of this. I don't see you running away. I don't see you stepping away. But I do see how you're, you're thinking about how you're going to actually change some things. Some Still some things need to change here because I see you looking at the Ten of Wands over the top of the Nine of Wands. So I think in a way you could have entered into a new situation while you were still in an old situation. You're in the middle of transference. You're in the middle of transformation here. And I think over the next few weeks, you are thinking about and deciding on how you're going to start to actually um, drop some of the burdens that you've been carrying with the 10 of wands over the nine of wands. So you're kind of deciding, all right, now I have this new situation. It happened really quickly. How am I going to actually move into this? How am I going to do this in a way? How am I going to implement this in a way that it doesn't create too much havoc or too big of a crisis? Um, as you move forward, because it's clear here that you're at the end of something and that you're going to need where you are surrendering into whatever this new thing is. Maybe you very quickly got a new job and now you have this new job and you have to figure out, okay, what do I do with the old job? What do I do? How do I finish up my work? Who do I, you know, how, how am I going to tell them? You know, or maybe you are in a relationship and all of a sudden you're in, it's like something about this is really, um, it, it just happens so quickly that you're really now slowing down here. You know, it's a new beginning. You know, it's the beginning of a new chapter, um, but you're still here, not quite done with the last chapter. Tell me more about this 10 of wands. Strength, strength come out again. What's this card hiding? Two of wands, damn. So you're, you're, you're thinking in the next couple of weeks and deciding how you're going to Make what kind of choice, what kind of action choice are you going to make? Which path are you going to actually go down? And how are you going to do that? And that's taking courage. That's taking, um, really moderating that beast within. 
See, these two strength energies are both here. They're both here and they're both taming that beast within. Not allowing anger or fear or insecurity to rule the way you take action, to rule the way you speak. Really, I'm tempering the basic, more basic desires. I mean, maybe if you've entered into a new relationship over the next few weeks, you slow it down just a little bit and you strategize, okay, how can I do this in a way where I won't dishonor someone or I won't um, disrespect anyone or I won't create destruction in someone else's life? How do I make these changes? Because there is a, um, a path, there is a fork in the road here and um, there is a requirement here with this 10 of wands to figure out, okay, how do I drop these burdens? Because you have been in some sort of situation in the past where you have taken on more than your fair share. You have had betrayal, you have been hurt, you have been wounded, and you have been in someone else's control here. You have been someone else's puppet, right? And you have not had a voice. And now you, all of a sudden, you have a voice you certainly have a voice and you have some really good options here. And I think that you're really working through how are you going to actually, actually implement these things. Again, we do have the four of wands. Something beautiful has come in for you and your high priestess knows it could be a secret even. It could be a secret, but the high priestess is really able um, to moderate, to moderate, to moderate her words to be very careful with what she actually says. She's very careful in the actions she takes. But I see you here making some sort of action choice in the next few, in the next few weeks, deciding how to do it. Not that you're going to do it, I think. Most of you know you're going to do it, but how exactly are you going to do it? Because you've been beat up. You've been beat up, you've been torn up. Sorry, I've all off kilter here. This reading has taken me for a loop. You've been beat up. You've been torn up. You have battle scars. You have wounds. And um, when we've been hurt, when we've been traumatized, we can really lash out. We, we can be, we can feel like we're cornered. And what does an animal do when it's cornered? Well, sometimes we huddle in the corner and just freeze. But other times we can get real mean we can scratch, we can, we can scrape, we can cause damage. So there is some sort of moderating that and, and really saying, okay, now I'm at the prepices. Is that how you said that word? <laughs> now I'm at the beginning. It's when I use words that I can't say. <laughs> I'm at the beginning now of something new. I'm at, I've opened this door. How do I step in now? What do I do? What kind of shoes do I wear? Is it muddy? Is it dry? What's the weather like? Do I need to wear, you know, I know this, this is kind of silly, but it's this is just coming up with, okay, how do I do this now? How do I do this in the best way that doesn't create so much destruction, that keeps the energy clean? Because the dirtier we create the situations, the more we have to clean later. Right. So it's, it's doing this in a way that is constructive, um, that brings the, the healthiest resolution. But I do feel like you are moving forward in something new. And I think that it's high time because this is tens here. Talk about pain and suffering. And that's no way to live. My friends, it's no way to live. And yes, you are going to be thinking about it with the nine of swords. You are going to be staying up at night thinking about it. That's what, that's, that's how we move into new levels. And this Gemini people, you're smart, you're, you're fast processors, you're in intellectual, you're rational, you're logical. You can do this. I have no doubt you can do this. You move easily. You, this is maybe where you're, you're really going to struggle because we had two strengths learning how to moderate this power that you feel, this new freedom that you feel, perhaps the anger that you feel, 
the revenge energy that you feel, you know, that kind of thing. Because when we've been beaten down and when we've been hurt, when we've been kept oppressed, there is an energy there that's waiting for release. That's just waiting to be let out. And um, I think that, yeah, you're, you're figuring out a way here to do this that is effective, that's smart, that allows you to attain your goals, but it also keeps here, it keeps you from creating um, energy that is messy. Sometimes these sorts of situations are messy. They truly are, right? That's just how, how it works. But with this strength here twice, I, I think that you're really working to moderate that as much as you can. Let's see what the guidance is here. Let's see what the guidance is. Let's see what the guidance is for Gemini. Page of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. Well, I think that, number one, um, observing, watching, observing, keeping, um, observing without a filter. So observing with multiple perspectives, um, not staying caught up in one mode of thinking, being open to other perspectives, being open to other ideas, being open to um, other, not just assuming that you know exactly what's happening, because you might know, not know exactly what's happening here, but really looking at the situation with, with a, um, a clinical mind. Because I feel like although this new beginning is here and it's exciting and um, it's, it's, it's just terribly, it's just terribly exciting. It's, it's just a dream come true that there is an ending here that needs to be made. It needs, there's an ending that needs to happen. So this is being very watchful and observant. But there is um, guidance here to remember to enjoy this, to remember to be youthful, to be full of passion, to allow this to happen. Even though you have this energy here of the Page of Swords, this stalker energy or watching energy or just an uneasy, vulnerable, uh, just an uneasy energy, like you have some kind of something like your your red flag alert system is waving all over the place, but you can't really figure out why or how. It's that kind of uneasy, even though you feel that, to allow this to sort of happen because the page of wands is here. New passion, new youthfulness, new adventure, allowing the light within you to flicker and grow, you know, with this with this with this new experience that's at your door this new reality that's at your door that you've stepped into. We do have the nine of cups. This is a wish come true. This is self, self, um, self work, self enjoyment. All the time that you took to dig within, to look at your, your happiness or your pain and to um, look at, at how you could, start to bring in new enjoyment into your life or new love into your life or a new feeling of inspiration into your life. You have reached now a milestone. You have reached some sort of victory lap, my friends. There is a wish here that is coming true. So stay strong, be kind, be courageous, be powerful. Step carefully, but do step, my friends, do step. Do step forward, but please step carefully. Um, there is a wish coming true here for you. You have worked long and hard. Your soul is crying out for it. Your heart is crying out for it. Go forward, my beautiful friends. Go forward. All right, now let me look at in the extended what I'm going to look at deeper. So I'm going to dig down deeper into some of these energies and see what we can find here. Um, man. 
There is just so much here. I almost want to look at what's coming up in the future. I want to look at this Four of Wands for sure. I want to look at this Two of Wands, the action choice. I know you can't see. The Four of Wands, the Two of Wands. I want to look at the Empress and the Emperor, what they have to say. I'm going to look at what they have to say here, what the Emperor has to say and what the Empress has to say. And I'll probably look at the Knight of Cups too, the Offer of Love. So I'm going to dig deeper into these five energies, and then I'll look at the people who are around you and what their intentions are as you move forward. All right, so that's the goal. Um, Gemini, this has been quite the reading. I hope it made sense. Um, it's a fast-moving energy, and um, I hope it's helped in, you in some way. I wish you all the best, my beautiful friends. Thank you.